Will God continue to forgive you if you commit the same sin over and over again? We're going to answer that question. To best answer this question, we are going to look at two powerful passages of Scripture. As far as the East is from the West, so far has He removed our transgressions from us. One of the most effective tricks Satan plays on Christians is to convince us that our sins aren't really forgiven, despite the promise of God's Word. The devil's attacks reminding us of our past can make it a real challenge to simply rest in the promises of God and trust in His love. But this psalm also tells us that God not only forgives our our sins, but removes them completely from his presence. This is a difficult concept for humans to grasp, which is why it's so easy for us to worry instead of just accepting it. The key lies in simply giving up our doubts and feelings of guilt and resting in his promises of forgiveness. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. What an incredible promise. Even when we stumble, we can still be forgiven if we ask in a an attitude of repentance. Then Peter came to Jesus and asked, Lord, how many times shall I forgive my brother when he sins against me? Up to seven times? Jesus answered, I tell you, not seven times, but seventy-seven times. Peter was probably thinking that he was being generous. Rather than repay a person who had committed a sin against him with equal retribution, Peter suggested giving the brother some leeway. But the eighth time, forgiveness and grace would run out. But Christ challenged the rules of Peter's suggested economy of grace by saying that forgiveness is infinite for those who are truly seeking it. Because of Christ's forgiving power, we can always be made clean after we sin if we humbly seek God's forgiveness. At the same time, it must be noted that it is not biblical for a person to sin habitually and continually as a lifestyle and be a believer. This is why Paul admonishes us to examine yourselves, to see whether you are in the faith, test yourselves. Do you not realize that Christ Jesus is in you, unless of course you fail the test? As Christians, we do stumble, but we do not live a lifestyle of a continual unrepentant sin. All of us have weaknesses and can fall into sin, even when we don't want to. Even the Apostle Paul struggled because of the sin at work in his body. And like Paul, the response of the believer is to hate the sin, repent of it, and to ask for divine grace to overcome it. Although we don't have to fall because of God's sufficient grace, sometimes we do because we rely upon our insufficient strength. When our faith grows weak, and like Peter we deny our Lord in word or in life, even then there is still a chance to repent and be forgiven of our sin. Another one of Satan's tricks is to try and get us to think that there is no hope nor possibility that we can be forgiven. He will try to get us to feel consumed and trapped by guilt so that we do not feel worthy of God's forgiveness. But since when were we ever worthy of God's grace? God loved us, forgave us, and chose us to be in Christ before the foundation of the world. Not because of anything we did, but in order that we, who were the first to hope in Christ, might be for the praise of His glory. We must always keep in mind that there is no place that God's grace cannot reach, and there is no depth that God is unable to rescue us from. Whether we are just starting to wander off course, or we are already sinking and drowning in our sin, grace can be received. Grace is a gift from God. When we sin, the Spirit will convict us and will feel a godly sorrow. He will not condemn our souls as if there is no hope, for there is no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. The Spirit's conviction within us is a movement of love and grace. Grace is how we live, how we are saved, how we are sanctified, and how we will be kept and glorified. Let us receive grace when we sin by repenting and confessing to God. Why live a sinful life when Christ offers to make us whole and right in the eyes of God? That answers the question, will God continue to forgive you if you commit the same sin over and over again? Research this question further on our website, gotquestions.org. Give a thumbs up and be sure to click subscribe. Meanwhile, check out these other questions.